Hello, Andres. Hello, Kisha. How are you? Good evening. Fine. Which homework are you talking about? Uh, uh, we have to write in every line. It says she has not worked there. And the line, I, I don't know what to. Is this from the platform or what, or the uh, homework? No, the, the homework, you say the yesterday? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The homework that I mentioned yesterday. Yes, that. Mm, okay. Is the, um, the last line, only in that. I'm not sure what to write there. Um, okay, um, we're, well, we're gonna be checking the answers together as a class today, so no worries, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Francisco, welcome. Thank you. Where are you? I can I can only see your hand, half of your hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's for the background. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you're 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 the invisible man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, welcome, Francisco. We've missed you. Yeah, really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah every, uh, we've missed you all the, all of this time. Okay, thank you. I'm yeah. here now. <laughs> okay, good, good. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. okay. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, welcome everybody. How are you? Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are good you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Marvin. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, well, welcome, everybody. Glad to see you. Um, Fabiola, how are you right now? How are you doing? So, so, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, are you feeling a little better? A little better? Yeah, just a little. A little bit. <laughs> I, I know, I know. It's, you know. I try. Yeah, yeah. But I, we really do appreciate um, your your effort and commitment. Thank you. Right. Yes. Okay, so just, just you know, um, just hang in there and uh, take it easy, okay? All right. Um, you understand take it easy? Yes, teacher. Yeah. No. I just want to make sure that it's like uh, keep calm. Yeah, take it easy. Like, or like when we say in Spanish, um, tómalo con calma. Ah, okay. Huh? okay. Okay. So just take it easy, Fabiola. And, okay, don't, don't, don't worry so much. Just relax. Okay. Sure. Okay, sure. Okay, good. Okay, guys. Welcome to today's class. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to take attendance. Let's take attendance for you. Um, give me one moment. Okay, let um, Okay, so here we go. Um, let's start with Anna Claudia. Present teacher. Wonderful, welcome. Uh, Andres. Present teacher. Welcome. Uh, Edgar. Is Edgar here? Edgar? No? No, Edgar. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. He's probably going to come a little bit later. Uh, Janet. No, Janet. No. I don't see Janet. Okay. Fabiola. I Present see. teacher. All right. Thank you. Um, Haiti. 
Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Irene. Irene? No, no Irene. Okay. Uh, Ivan. Ivan? No, it's not here yet. Uh, Johnny? Is Johnny here? No, okay. All right, uh, what about Josue? Is Josue here? Josue? No. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Okay, welcome Juan Francisco. Jury? Sure. Okay, welcome jury. Uh, are, you, are you having problems with the camera? Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, perfect. Okay, welcome. All right, is Carla here? No. Present teacher. Ah, oh, there she is. Okay, gotcha. All right, welcome, Carla. Uh, Melissa? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Melissa. Luis, yes. is she here? Please, no? Okay. Manuel? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Manuel. Marvin. Thank you. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Marvin. Thank Wendy. you, teacher. Wendy, is Wendy here? No. Okay. Uh, Werner? Present teacher. Welcome, Werner. Uh, uh, Yvonne? Present. Welcome, Yvonne. Thank you. Francisco? Present. Welcome, Francisco. Uh, Francisco, is there any way that we can actually see your face? I, I don't know if you're there, you're not. Uh, there he is. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> Es que se, es, es de repente. Se confunde con el fondo. <risa> el nombre invisible. Mire, y, y, y o, o será que podemos tal vez cambiar el, el, el fondo para poder verlo, no sé. O que se pinte de blanco. <risa> no sé, es que. Ok, ok. Claro, um, quizás. Do you have a green background? Uh -huh. Okay, there you are. Okay. Bueno, esperamos que. Uh -huh. Ahí sí, ya lo podemos ver. <laughs> okay. All right, good. And Jenny? Is Jenny here? No, Jenny is not here. Okay. All right. So let me just uh, repeat the, the names of the people I didn't hear Edgar, Janet. Ivan, Johnny, Josue, Luis. Present teacher. Ah, welcome, Luis. Justo a tiempo. Thank you. Just in time. Okay, Wendy. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Just in time as well. Okay, and Jenny. Jenny, no, okay. All right, well, thank you guys. Uh, welcome once again to today's class. Um, okay, so um, today uh, we are going to be having um, some presentations, okay? Just like I told you um, yesterday, we're going to be presenting um, to the class um, a little bit about our, um, our experience, right? our job experience. So we're going to have this opportunity to um, speak to the whole class, right? So not just do it in small groups, but uh, doing it in bigger groups, okay? So let's start, first of all, um, with the PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see it. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. So... Yes. Thank you. Okay, so um, 
Beginner module six is um, what we're looking at. And then it says unit one, job listing. Um, the date is Thursday, May 27, 2021. Stay number four. And your facilitator is Jessica uh, Guerrero. Okay. Um, okay. So time expressions here. We have, uh, we looked at, uh, these are the time expressions that we, um, that we looked at um, yesterday. We talked about using four with a period of time, like a year, months, weeks, um, days, okay? We talked about using since with a specific time in the past. For example, since I was a child, since I was born, since I graduated, since 2011, et cetera, et cetera. And then we also talked about using from with the word to, talking about when something started and when something finished. And then using the word then to talk about a sequence of events. First this happened, then the other thing happened. And then using until to mark a time when something finishes. So something started in the past and continues up to that particular moment and it's finished. And I ask you guys to do this for homework, which is um, read about Nicole's work experience and fill in the blanks using for, since, from, to, and long. Okay? All right, so uh, what we're gonna do to make this a little bit faster, we're going to um, check the answers to the homework. Um, okay, so we'll start. Um, let's do it like this. Uh, we'll read paragraph, uh, we'll read one, one sentence each, and you guys can give me the answer, okay? So I'll start with the first one. Nicole was born in San Salvador, in El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. Uh, next sentence, can you help me out, Marvin? Excuse me, teacher. The next sentence, would you help me out with the next sentence, Marvin? The next sentence, there 20, 25. Okay, from here, just starting from here, she studied. Uh, I don't understand, teacher. Okay, okay, so I was reading. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. Can you please continue the next sentence? Okay, she studied there. There seems. There since twenty zero five. Okay. Give me a moment. Let's... Okay, like this. Like this, Marvin. Marvin? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, all right. Since 2005 and until then... 2011. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Um, Jerry, help us out with the next sentence. Let me see. <clears throat> she started the, 
to... From 2005 until 2011. Okay. Um, uh, all right. Let's... Well, um, Jerry, do you agree with that? Um, um, she studied there since 2005 okay, to... Over to, here. Why, oh, I, okay. Right. She... Let me see. She was born and she, and she wor worked. What do I put here? Um, I don't know, maybe. And, um, I don't know. And maybe for then for, uh, maybe for do you want to pass? Sorry, could you repeat that? No, 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 no. Okay. Like that? Mm, I I I actually I don't know what is Okay, we're gonna leave it like that then. Okay. Uh -huh. four. She, she, she worked in Malta for for seven years. I, in that case, for for seven years. And she in seven years. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, next, um, Carla. Carla? Yeah, teacher. Would you help me with the next one? Mm, of course. Mm. Just, just give me the answer that you that you wrote down further. Uh, from no no. Mm. No, teacher. I don't know. Uh, did you do the homework? Teacher? Uh, Carla, did you do yeah, the homework? Yeah, but, uh, but I didn't finish this part. You didn't finish this part? Teacher? I uh, guess. Can can I change the my the first one? Which one? Uh, the first four, then. Then she worked in Mosa oh, for the same year. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to change it to what? Then. Then, okay. All right. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, so Carla, just give me a, give me a, 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 your best guess. Okay. Uh, maybe. Uh, is then okay all right thank you so can you continue um reading the sentence then she was a child she wants to be a manager of a great and important company she did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager okay if you want you can stop there we'll we'll give the the, the next person the opportunity thank you very much carla okay all right um yvonne help me out with the next one okay 
She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. Like this? Yes, teacher. Okay, for almost 15 years, retired. Okay, all right. Uh, next, um, let's have uh, Manuel. Manuel, can you help me with the next one? Uh, his name was Gonzalo and he worked Working the scenes 2005. Uh, 2015. No, 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 Nicole is, uh, today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday, and she loves her job. Okay, you said from Monday, and what was the next one? To Saturday. To Sunday, okay. All right, very good, thank you very much. And the last one we'll have, um, we'll have Ivan help us with the last one. This uh, she has no work there, but her team she has. She has. I don't know. I pass. You want to give it a try? I have no idea. No? Okay. No. Okay. Um, let's have uh, Ana Claudia help us out with number the last one. I was uh, thinking that last sentence is, is like not matching with all the conversation, but I don't know if the correct one should be then. So she has not worked there then. I, I'm not sure. That is the last one that I didn't complete. <laughs> okay. Yes, I didn't complete that one because I don't know. It's okay. Long, I'm sorry. The other one I was thinking it was long. Okay, so which one do you want to put? Then or long? Long. 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 Okay, like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's not, I don't know, it's, I, I'm not sure about that, but let's leave it that way. Okay, so read the whole sentence to me then. She has not worked there long, but her team supports her. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. Um, all right, so now let's. it's time to tell me if you would change anything. Do you agree with these answers or is there something that you would change? At the beginning, teacher, I don't agree. For me, should be there from 2005 to 2011. I don't know. From and to. So do you agree with Ana Claudia, class? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes. OK, so let's yes, change that. From, and then the other one you said? To. Okay, so from 2005 <clears throat> to 2011. 2011. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Anything else that you would change? In the third sentence, mm -hmm. uh, for me is since, since she was a child. Me too, I agree with you. Um, After the seven years in the first line. Oh, this one. Uh -huh. Yes, seeds. Okay, everybody agrees? I agree with Lilian. Yes, I agree. All right, let's change it to since. Anything else? Uh, teacher. Teacher. Yeah. 
Me confusion, teacher. Yes. Yes. Confused. Okay. About? Yeah. Is I, I don't know. I I think uh, went. <laughs> I don't know. O sea, no sé si es went. El qué? We are in time expressions, Werner. Okay. So um. Okay, so Warner, um, the the instructions say read about Nicole's work experience and fill out the blanks using for, since, from, to, and long. So these are the only possibilities that you have. I think is the the actually, it seems because actually there uh, this is wrong too. Let me just add this. Um, this should over here. I should also have the word then. That's also then is also yeah. a possibility. Okay, so those are the only ones that you can use. Okay, only those expressions. Okay. Does that make sense, Warner? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. For me, for me, uh, time for until. Sorry, for you, what? Uh, change time for until. Okay. Change time. Uh, and she worked in Malta for seven years until she was a child. Oh, there is a period and that shows at the, be the beginning of another sentence, right? Right. This is one sentence. She worked in Malta for seven years, period. Another sentence is this one right here. So this is another idea. So it's not together. Does that make sense? I yes. think it, I understand in Spanish is like a, desde que ella era pequeña, ella deseaba ser una administradora. Is correct? Right, yeah, exactly. Um, right here it says she worked in Molsa for seven years, right? Um, which is like, um, you're saying that's how long she was working there for, right? And then another idea is, uh, since she was a child, o sea, desde que ella era una, una niña, right? Um, she wanted to be a manager. So that was her desire um, ever since in the past, she was a child. So she started thinking about being a manager when she was a child and she continued thinking about that. That what I sense? remember is that when you yesterday explained since is since is used from that moment until now. So it's something that is started but continues. Right. Mm -hmm. That is what I understand. Yeah, that's the and you're right. Exactly. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Maybe All that's right. why I confused it because uh, what I understand that she's already a manager. So in that case, you shouldn't use since because since is for an activity that hasn't ended. And she already achieved that, that dream. Right, but just because you achieve a dream does not mean that you don't want it anymore. Right? You it's because it started in the past. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Started in the past. And obviously she, she continues wanting to be a manager, even though she got that dream but she continues be, uh, wanting that, that dream, right? She, she wants to, con, uh, to be a manager even today. And that's why she continues at Mosa in that, in that position. So yes, the thing, so the, the idea or the dream continues. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Or, yeah. Yeah. or, or did I just confuse you? 
It's okay? Yeah? It's okay because if we if the if the word would be when, maybe the sentence would say when she was a child, she wanted to become would be different, right? Yes. Um, yeah, exactly. Because that means that it, it, when you say when she was a child, it, that almost implies that in the moment when she was a child, she wanted to be a manager, but now she kind of does it. Right? It's kind of the idea. Whereas, and, and by the way, remember that the word when is not actually part of the possible answers, right? We can only use for, since, from, to, long, and then. And is it okay to say, since she was a child, she has wanted to be a manager of a great and important company? Um, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine too. Okay. Okay. All right. Teacher, the yes. teacher, is, is the others, the option and number, um, the was the managers, is uh, work there, the others option? Is possibility? Sorry. Sorry, I'm lost. Which could you repeat the question again? Um. Uh, this uh, the the was was the manager, uh, and and a number a number three. Uh, uh, there was the manager. Were the were there? Is one possibility? Over here? Because uh, the man was it, the manager? Yes, the word there is possibility. There. The, or then. Uh, no, work, work, word, Hurt. word there. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I understand what you're saying, but remember, Werner, the only possible answers are uh, for, since, from, to, long, and then. Okay? So those are, those, we're, we're looking at time expressions, and those are the only time expressions that we're looking at right now. For, since, from, to, long, and then. So we're not looking at grammar, we're looking at time expressions. Does that make sense, Warner? No, no, I understand uh, the um, uh, de, le, de los ejercicios. Sí. Uh -huh. Solo decía si era una posibilidad fuera de esto, si es posible utilizarlo el eh, esa otra expresión. Because the man who was the manager, what did you say after that? What, what was the, uh, the the possibility you mentioned, Warner? Um, lo escribí en el chat, teacher. Oh, oh, work okay. it. Oh. Um, No. Mm -mm. No. No teacher. Oh, okay. No, sorry. No, that that wouldn't really work. No. Okay. All right. Anything else that you guys want to ask about or change any answers that you want to change? No. No. no? Uh, I will use uh, the word until in the one, two, three, four, in the fourth line when it says, uh, and he worked there until 2015. I, I don't know if, because he, yes, I agree, Ana Claudia. Uh -huh, he completed the task that year until yeah. 2015 uh -huh. yes yes yeah. okay. so do you all agree you listen agree? me <laughs> yes, or yes. No? yes yes i agree 
Okay. I agree. Okay. Me All too. right. Anything else you want to change? Uh, teacher, in the last sentence, uh, I don't know if it better use for long, not only long. Uh, or for so long. Um, you that could, is what you explained yesterday, right? Yeah, you could, you could, but um, but right now we're just looking at the word long. Okay, so yeah, but it's possible. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure about that. Okay. Hey, teacher, what the difference between um, since and from? The difference is what you put after the for or the since. After the for, we're going to be using a period, periods of time. Periods of time include like, um, like the number of years, number of months, number of days, number of um, weeks, hours, okay? So we use, for example, we can say four, five years, four, seven months, four, two days, four, 11 weeks. No, no, from, from. Oh, so from, oh, okay, sorry. From and since, did you say? From and since. Mm -hmm. Okay. From um, from and to, we're saying when it starts and when it's finished. So in this case, we, for example, here we have, I stayed there from January to November. So it started in January, it finished in November. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And since means it started in the past and it continues, it has not finished. Yeah, does that make sense? Okay, no, no importa donde se emplea realmente. Eh, siempre que from va acompañado de to y since es, es por un periodo de inicio hasta... So, yeah, so since we start in the past, it's some moment in the past and it continues. Okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Anything else? Let me see if, if I understand. Since you are going to use when you uh, event occur in the past and at the present, this event is, 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 is I don't know what it is, is, is something the, is part of your life or I don't know what is the. No, it just said it continues up to the present. It started in the past, since, and it continues until this present moment. Okay. Yeah? So, okay. for example, I have been studying English since 2018. Okay? So that means that you started in 2018, and it continues until this moment. Right? You haven't mm -hmm. stopped learning English. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, I got okay. it. All right. Or for example, um, COVID-19 has been a pandemic since March 2000, sorry, yeah, 20, uh, 2020, right? So it started, it started in the past and it continues, it's still a pandemic. Yes, it's actually. Yeah, it's in the present. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So, does this make sense for everybody? Yes. Is there anything you guys want to ask before we continue? Teacher, yeah. <laughs> play play the song of Guns N' Roses. Since I don't have you. <laughs> He's a good example. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah, lots, lots of, of um, uh, great songs there that use, use this times expressions, you're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Mm 
Mm -hmm. uh, the last sentence um, can use uh, the the until. Okay, we're 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 going to check the answers in a moment. But do you, do you guys agree with the answers, or do you need me to change something? No? It's okay? It's okay, teacher. Okay. okay, good. All right. Okay, so let's check the answers then. Um, so the first one is, she studied from, she studied there from 2005 to 2011, and these are both correct. Okay? Okay. Then she worked in Molsa. That is also correct. For seven years. Also correct. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great important company. Yes. She did not want, she did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man she was, who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. And that is also correct. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there until 2015. That's also correct. Um, today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday and she loves her job. She has not worked there long, but her team supports her. Very good guys, excellent. Yes, the word, the last word is long, okay? Uh, there, there's really no other word from the options there that makes more sense. It basically is saying, ella no ha trabajado ahí por mucho tiempo. But her team supports her, pero su, su people la, la apoya. Okay? Sounds, does that sound good? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. teacher. Yes. Um, in this case, there is a, a contractor, or, or is this correct? She has not worked there long. No, it's fine. She's not worked there long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. So the next part. Um, okay, so the next part is the homework that I also assigned you guys to do, which was um, to talk about your work experience, create a story similar to the one in exercise five, use time expressions. These were the exercise number five, right, that we just finished doing. So we all completed this, right? Yes? Okay, good. All right, yes. so what we're going to do is we're going to start presenting. Uh, we'll have different people. Um, we'll actually do it. I'm going to do it in the order of the list. I, I was thinking you would say that. <laughs> it's just that it, 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 it's easier for me to... <laughs> to, to see who has presented or not. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm ready. Not, it's nothing personal. Okay. I know. I know. Okay. All right. So, in order of the list, um, yes, Anna Claudia is our lucky winner to be first. Um, okay. And then after Anna Claudia would be Andres. So, Andres, you can start, you can start um, also. Um, you know, practicing so that uh, you will be next. Okay, so Ana Claudia, go ahead and talk to us about your experience. Uh, my work experience in, well, in general, I was born here in Santa Ana. Since I was studying at school, I was interested in learning English. Uh, that helped me a lot because uh, my dad um, forced me to take some classes 
And at the end, that is what is uh, helping me to uh, develop my job. Uh, I was, uh, I'm just going to talk about two different jobs I met. Uh, from 2000 to 2004, I was working here in Santa Ana in a funeral home and also a uh, I don't know if the correct way to say it is cemetery, cemetery, cemetery. Ah, okay. Cemetery. Cemetery. Ah, okay. So I that was my first experience in sales. It was a new world <laughs> for me, and I was um, I grew up until I was a supervisor in that place. Then since 2005. I work uh, in the consulting industry. It's the first time I was working in Spanish and English. And I learned and developed my sales skills from 2005 until 2013. I learned about the computer construction process. I was working for a Dell company and I sold computers for a business in Latin America and the Caribbean. And then in the same location, in the same building, we had different opportunities or accounts. So from 2013 uh, until 2017, I'm sorry, from 2013 to 2017, I worked for the competition account for HP computers. <laughs> so I sold a post-technical support. Then uh, from 2018 until now, I'm working on my third account in the same building. And right now I sell equipments for trucks like GPS locations. They are a kind of electronic logbooks. So the authority uh, find, easily find a fault for drivers or trucking industry. Um, that is my experience, my work experience these last years. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, you said, when did you start doing that? Working the, the last account or yeah, the last when account. I, I started from 2013. No, 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 no. My last account, I started in 2018. Okay. So until said, now. Okay. That's what I was going to mention. Uh -huh. You said from 2018 until now. Ah, uh, from I cannot be together with until. Since, oh. I need to use since. Good, exactly. Ah, okay. okay. Because remember that when you only use from and to, mm -hmm. when something is finished. Mm -hmm. But if it continues, you're going to be using since. Okay, since 2018, until now, I'm working in this other account, keep tracking. Or simply since 2018, because when you say since, you imply that it started in the past ah, and it okay. continues. You don't need to okay. say until now. Ah, okay, okay. It's Since like 2018. I have been blah, 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 blah. Ah, okay, okay. 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 All right. And also, um, mm -hmm. you mentioned grow up. You grew up, yes. Yeah. It, the, okay. This is something that everybody should um, keep, uh, like, um, like they say in Spanish, ojo con esto. Keep an eye. Yeah, um, when they when you use the word grow, mm -hmm. you have to be careful because um, there are two verbs that may look the same, but they're not, which mm -hmm. is grow and grow up. Okay, uh -huh. grow up means like um, to be a child and become an adult. Get, getting older? Get older. 
Ah, and, okay. Or, and or it could also mean to become more mature. Mm, okay. okay. Whereas okay. grow, grow is more general, right? It means to go up. Okay. okay. So in a business environment, I can use just grow. Grow, exactly. Ah, okay, okay. Exactly. So don't say thank you. Up. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, there's something else I wanted to tell you before we did the presentations and I forgot to do this, which was that when we're talking about dates or like years, better said, there are two ways that you can talk about the years. For example, um, in the chat, I have written a year. Okay. How do you pronounce that year? 2011. 2011. Okay. 2000, so you can say you can say 2011 or 2011. Okay, there are two ways. I'm sorry. What was the second way? So 2000 and 2011 uh -huh. is one way, and 2011 uh -huh. is the other way. Okay. So you can separate the two words. 20. 11. That is like a, the informal way to say it, or sounds uh, like a correct way. I, no, I no, listen it's... more frequently separate 2011. I don't know. If... Um, they're both acceptable. They're both acceptable. Okay. Now, the only thing that is definitely only acceptable is if, for example, when they end on zeros. <laughs> no. For example, this day, this year, you say 1993. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's the only possibility, 1993. You cannot say 1,993. That's impossible. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Can't say that. Okay? okay. So... You have to, in that case, you have to separate them. 19 is the first number, and then 93. So anything before 2000 has to be separated. Ah, okay. okay. So night, like a 1942, 1811, 1361, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? That's the only way you can do it before 2000. After 2000, you can do both ways. You can either separate them or say 2000 and blah, 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 whatever the, 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 the rest of the year. 2001, 2010, 2020. Right now we are in 2021 or in 2021. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thank you. Yes. Great. All right, let's continue then. Um, the next on my list is Andresa, and after Andres is Edgar. Okay, so go ahead, Andres. Okay, I was born in Cintanal, Salvador, in 1985. I finished to study in 2002, and then I, uh, I started to work in 2003. Since I was a child, I liked computers and I wanted to learn so much. For that reason, I studied computers maintenance and I have been working for almost 18 years. Since 2020, I started to learn English because I always wanted to learn another language. Okay, very good. Bravo. Excellent, Andres. Very good. Okay. All right. Um, and this just be careful. Um, I think you said you were born in this year. Yes. Right? How do you pronounce that? 1985 is before I think. Again? 1985. Okay. Be careful how you pronounce it. It's not 90, it's 19. 19, okay. 19. Otherwise, 90 is it, it's like this. Okay. 
okay? And then you would be a futuristic child. And then you would be a futuristic child because you would born, uh -huh. you'd be born in, in 1985, <laughs> in the future. <laughs> okay, so um, it would be 1985. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, so be just be careful on um, the pronunciation between the teens. Okay, for example, you say, um, it, you, when you say the, the, the teens, like all of the, the ones and teens, you have to emphasize the teen. For example, 16, 17, 15, 13, um, 19, right? And then with the other ones, you, you emphasize the first part. So it's like um, you say um, 70, 80, 90, um, 40. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, sure. yeah, okay. okay. All right, thank you very much. Okay, next it would be Edgar, and after Edgar is um, Janet, but Janet's not here, right? No, it's just a book. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, next after Janet would be um, Haiti, okay. So Haiti, um, Haiti, 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 where's Haiti? All right, thank you. Oh, there she is. Okay, I'm looking down here and she was up there. Okay, all right, so Haiti, you're, you're gonna be after. All right, go ahead, Edna. Uh, me, teacher? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Um, Edgar, uh, Edgar Menjivar was uh, born in Santa Tecla on October uh, 20, um, 1907. Uh, he, he graduated from U, UTAC University, studied uh, from 1990 to 19. 1995. During his uh, studies, he worked in a coffee production, pro producing company until 1993. He then was present with an opportunity in the Avicola Salvadoreña company to work as an administrative assistant from 19. 95 to date, making a carried wind the company until raising the position of the commercial administ administrative chief. This only, yeah, finish. Okay. Very good, it got okay. <laughs> okay, okay, um, very good. Um, you worked in the coffee what? Yeah. In the coffee what? The the the, the coffee uh, the coffee production company. Production or production? Product production. Sorry, production production company. Thank you. Okay, just give me guys a little moment that I'm going to get some water because my throat is getting dry. Just give me one. Okay, second. okay. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, very, very good. Um, excellent, thank you. Um, yeah, that was it. I think that was the only thing. Very good. Excellent, Edgar. Okay, let's hear now Haiti. And um, after Haiti is, let me see, um, Irene. Is Irene here? Irene? No, right? 
She's not here. Okay. So after then would be Ivan. Okay. Um, I'm telling you guys ahead of time, but que ya se vayan preparando. Okay. So go ahead, Haiti. Okay. I was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1977. I started working for Banco Cuscatlan as a cashier in 1995. Then I performed the position of sales representative for six years and, and showing persistence and result oriented attitude, I became an assistant branch manager in 2013. Today, I'm branch manager at Cuscatlan's main branch, Piramide, being supported by the best team. Very good, Haiti. Excellent. Very, very good. Bravo. Actually, I just remembered something. Edgar, could you tell me what year were you were you born? Uh, mm, born is a uh, Santa Tecla. No. What year? What year were you born? Year. Uh, 19, 1970. Seventh. 1970. No, no, no. Okay. No, no. You said it right the first time. And that's why I wanted to oh, okay. correct, because the, the, you said it, originally you said it like the second time, and that's not correct. It, this correct way is 1970. 1970, okay. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. okay, thank you. All right, very good. Um, so now we're going to be listening to a, Ivan. Hi, and, good evening. Um, and then after Ivan would be Josue. Is Josue here? No, right? So it's not here. Okay, so then it would be Juan Francisco. Okay, all right. Good evening, Ivan. Go ahead. Thanks. Well, I was born in the most warm city, Sonsonate, long, long time ago, <laughs> in, in 1973. When I was uh, 18 years old, I started working in Banco de Comercio, like um, an accounting assistant. I worked there from 1992 to 21, 21. I hold in various positions um, from assistant uh, to manager. And I then I moved to an electric power transmission company. I worked there for uh, one year in the accounting department. Then I started working in August 2002 in a subsidiary of Banco de Comercio, which merged in 2005 with the scope. I worked there until 2017, and then I switched to Escocia Seguros until June 2099, which was bought by the Cuscatlan Bank Group. From I, I was I changed um, the Escocia Seguros, uh, Cisa Seguros from June, June 2090 to February 50. I was working in CISA Seguros and some four months ago, I changed to another bank. And that's all for me. Okay, thank you very much, Ivan, excellent. Okay. Thanks. Ivan, do me a favor, read me all of your, all of the, Date, uh, better said, all of the years that you mentioned. Okay. Just the years, For, only the years. 1992. 1992, okay. Uh -huh. 21, oh, 2001. I have some problem with these years. Okay. Good, good. Okay, that's why I was, I was going to get to. Okay, you mentioned this year, right? Yeah. Okay. 
So in this year, this is, uh, remember I told you there are two ways we can, after the year 2000, there are two ways we can say, we can say either 20, uh, sorry, you can either say 2001 or you can separate them. But if you're gonna separate them and there is a zero here, you do not say 2001. You can say 2001. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's 2001. Okay, so it yeah. looks like 2001, and this is 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 20. 2009. Oh. Okay. I got it. Got it. So it's always yeah. going to be O. Okay. I if you're going to forget that. Them. Thanks. I, I appreciate that. Okay. And uh, continue with the other the other years. Uh, and then I say 2005. Okay. Which is be... another year, I mean. And now you know that it's not 2005, it's 2005. Exactly, 2005, uh-huh. And then, and I say 2090. Okay, 2090. 2090 is this. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, far away on the future. Yeah, we're, we're very future. You're very, very 19. 19 okay. is the correct exactly. form. Exactly. 20. Sorry. 19. Remember to stress the teen. 19. Blame me at nervous. Oh, it's okay. No worries. No worries. A joke. No, no, chicos, no se, no se preocupen si se equivocan y todo. This is not about being perfect. We are learning. Exactly. Yeah. We're learning. Thanks, guys. So, of course, we're going to make mistakes. I don't. I expect you to make mistakes, okay? That's what I expect. I honestly expect everybody to do something that I can help you with, right? So it's okay. The what I'm what I'm helping you guys with, uh, but I'm and I'm going to I'm going to say this. Um, maybe the first people feel like, oh my goodness, um, you know, they you everybody's uh, the teachers correcting me about everything, but the thing is that. I'm I'm correcting the, be, the the first people because later the other people will not make the same mistake simply because they learned from the first people, right? So don't worry. Like the other people will probably not make the same mistakes just because they learned from you. Okay, so that's that's something positive. We all learn. It's not just exactly. you. We all learn. Okay. All right. Okay, good. Um, all right. So just just like I said, just stress whenever you say the um, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Always stress the teen so that you know that it's, you know, that it's a low number, not a high number. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, great. Um, aquí en dijimos, um, we said the next one was Juan Francisco, right? Teacher, teacher, I'm sorry, yeah. before Juan Francisco start, the second way to pronounce those years you say uh, is 2001. So it's not 2001, it's 2001, 2002, not the word end. Ah, okay. No, not normally. We would say 2001. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Normally, although it's not incorrect to say 2001, mm -hmm. but it's it, normally we just hear it 2001. Ah, okay, 2001. thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, actually, uh, before we hear Juan Francisco, uh, um, let me take attendance because it's that time. Okay. Um, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. All right. Andres? Present teacher. Edgar? Present teacher. Janet? 
Janet. Okay, uh, Fabiola. Present teacher. Irene. Irene. No. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. Ivan. Present teacher. Johnny. Josue. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Jury. Present teacher. Uh, Melissa. Oh, sorry, Carla. Carla. Present teacher. Uh, Melissa. Present teacher. Um, Present. Okay, thank you. Um, Luis. Present teacher. Manuel. Present teacher. Marvin. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Wendy. Present. All right. Uh, Werner. Present teacher. Yvonne. Present. Francisco. Present. Jenny. Okay. All right, let's continue then. Let's go now uh, with uh, Juan Francisco and then after Juan Francisco would be um, Jerry. Okay, go ahead Juan Francisco. Okay. Um, I was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1986. I graduated from ITCAT. I started there from 2005 to 2007. At the same time, I worked in COVID, light electrician and ground electric plant of the country. I worked there until I quit because I was offered a new job in Energia Borealis. My green was I work in power generation plant and it was become in true. Uh, I started like auxiliar for two years. Then I was from commute to operator for three years. Then I was promoted to operation supervisor from 2012 uh, to, to the day I had worked here since uh, 2007. Today I try to always improve. I work from Monday to Tuesday and sometimes weekend. I like my job, but sometimes it's very hard. Only that teacher. Very good, Juan Francisco. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay, Juan Francisco, could you? Sorry. Uh, very good, Juan Francisco. Excellent. Um, can you please pronounce this word for me, Juan, Juan Francisco? Uh, the one in the chat? Fine. Okay. Uh, we pronounce it since. Uh, since. Since. Uh, mm -hmm. Since. Yeah. Since. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Excellent. All right. Um, okay. Who well, did jury? We said jury, right? Jury is next. And then Carla. Well, in, in my case, uh, I, I were born in San Vicente in, in 1917. I worked like a teacher for five years, all from 1906 six to 200. I worked in a consulting company in that job, worked with several projects with the government, like a prosecutor, CNG, lottery. I worked in a dock from 2006 to 2017, 
I support planning area in that company crea creating models to help shareholders and manager take a decision to buy. I work since 2017 in Status. Status is a group of companies like an insurance and, and a bank. I support, and then I support managers getting and creating information cubes. Is that it? Yes. Okay, very good, Jerry. Excellent. Very good. Okay, so when did you work as a teacher? Your microphone, Jerry. I'm sorry. If I lose the connection, it's because the battery or the oh, it's okay. that no table worry. is almost die. Oh, okay. Uh, it's okay. No well, I, I work, I work uh, like a teacher for uh, uh, high school, high school for in, uh, two countries, two countries in, in San Rafael, Southern City, and Cojute Peque City, too. Oh, okay. Oh, mm -hmm. Wonderful. I, I work in a teacher and Universidad Politecnica, too. Okay, good. And from what year to what year did you say? What? I'm sorry? From what year to what year did you say? That uh, you, you worked as a teacher? 1906, 1906 to 2000. 1906 to 2000. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 1906. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? 19 1906. 1906, right. 1906 is this. No, I'm sorry. Let me see. That is really like uh, the first one, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Not that right. That, yeah. that would make really, you really old. I, I am really, really old. <laughs> No, that, would, that would make you an X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a big power. Okay. Uh, 19, uh, 1996. That's better. Okay. 1996. Great. Okay. Wonderful, Jerry. Thank you very okay. much. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, we said the next one was who? Um, Carla, right? And after Carla, Carla is Melissa. Okay, good night everyone. I was born in San Salvador in 1991. I graduated from public school and I start to work uh, very young. I get my first job when, when I was nine years old. When I was 18 years old, I started uh, to work in China Walk, and I worked there from uh, 2008 to 2012. After all those years, I looked for, learn more about customer service. And so I want uh, to be assistant uh, of manager in a restaurant. And I had the opportunity in Burger King. And I uh, work for uh, BK from uh, 2012 and still. In the actuality, I'm a manager in a restaurant and I was from uh, from move in 2018. That's all. All right, very good, Carla. Excellent. Okay, good. All right. Um, you said uh, you started working from a certain eight, a certain year, and still you said. So, because you continue working there, what will, would be the best word when you start something and you continue? What is the best word? And uh, since exactly. Yeah, so better to use the word. No, no, it's okay. Okay, good. Okay. All right. So it's better to use the word since. Um, and you mentioned the word actuality. What what do you mean by actuality? Mm -hmm. 
because I'm, I'm uh -huh, uh -huh, that's correct Sorry, in actuality in my actuality i manager in a restaurant uh -huh. in the actuality uh -huh. or uh, what do you mean by actuality oh, actualmente okay good all right the word um the word actualmente in english is this word here okay so we say currently 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 yeah okay so actuality okay. is that actually that word does not exist in english the word is currently okay all right um and i have a question at the very beginning this actually has to do just with something i this is something i've noticed in general um at the beginning you said hello everybody good what did you say you said you said buenas noches right in 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 how do you say that in english good evening uh -huh. yeah very good we say good evening when we want to say like hi at night at night time so we don't say good night we say good evening when we want to say hi to somebody and the reason is because the word good night actually means bye bye it means, right. it means i'm going to bed it's the end of the night so that's why you say good evening when you want to say hi to somebody and uh you say good night when you want to say bye-bye you're leaving okay okay so at the beginning of the class you can say hello teacher good evening and then at the end you say, okay um teacher good night okay yeah? okay All right? because you're because basically good night means Ya nos vamos a la cama. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay, teacher. All right. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Carla. Okay, we said the next one was uh, Melissa. And after Melissa is Luis. Okay, so I was born in Santa Ana in 1985. I graduated from, the, from Jose Matias Delgado University. I studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then I worked in the South for nine years. Since I was a, a child, I wanted to study medicine, but there were some life circumstances and I ended up studying marketing. I, 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 I O manejar una marca? How do you say manage. that, teacher? Manage. Okay, so I manage. Hold on. I, I, no, no, no. I, I want to say that I was in the same position since 2012. And the only change that I have is that is, is in some brands that I'm managing. And that changes almost every three years. And at the end, I had managed around 36 brands in all this time. Um, today, I'm feeling happy and I'm feeling like a successful person for the experience that I have. And I work from Monday to Friday, thanks God. And I, I really love my job. I'm glad to be part of the company. And I worked there for a long time. So I'm happy for the people that I'm meeting. Meeting? Conociendo? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for the people that I'm, and that I'm meeting in the company and for all this time that I'm be part of that big family. Very good, Melissa. Very good. Excellent. Okay, very good. Let's move on to Luis now. And after Luis is Manuel. Okay, teacher. I was born in Ilopango, Salvador in 1983. Uh, I graduated as 
industrial administrator technician in 2005. <clears throat> My first job was as oper operational manager assistant in distributor Mendes. I worked there from 2003 to uh, 2005. I quit because I was offered a new job in Talleres Sarti, and I worked, worked there for one year as a planning uh, auxiliary. And uh, since I was a child, I went to, to be an engineer and I started um, to study engineering, industrial engineering in 2013. And I graduated in 2019 as a second uh, engineer of my promotion. And from uh, UTEC of El Salvador, Technological University of El Salvador. <laughs> um, and actually, I worked in CIMAQ since um, 2007. I have been, I really love my job. I have been uh, promoted uh, three times and right now I am uh, training um, uh, to be, uh, to apply a manager position. I am learning about supply chain management and international business and obviously English. <laughs> yes, that. Okay, very good Luis, excellent, thank you. Okay, um, Luis, I have a question for you. Can Sorry, you, very, can you? Sorry, thank you. Um, all right, so a uh, very good, Luis. Um, I have a question for you. You used this word um, in the presentation. Uh, yes. What do you mean by this? I just want to make sure that you you used it correctly. Actualmente, actually. Okay, okay. But you say currently. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. Yes. So actualmente would be currently. Now, actually does exist. The word actually uh -huh. exists, but actually means more like the hecho. Okay. Okay, so that is that is something you gotta be very careful with. So it's actually, si existe, la esa palabra actually, Sí existe. Lo que no existe es actuality, pero actually sí existe. Solo que significa no actualmente, sino que de hecho. Okay, you got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um, de hecho o en realidad, cualquiera de los dos. Okay. All right, very good. Let's move on. Um, the next one we said was uh, Manuel, and after Manuel is Martin. Okay, I born in Santa Ana City, El Salvador. I studied there from 2008 to 2016 and graduated in Yuma, uh, Uma University uh, in business administration. I worked in front of the Lumer Salvador from 2006 uh, till the date. My position is engineer trainees. Uh, the other positions in my job is, is from 2006 to 2000, uh, uh, 12 uh, trainees production training to from 2012 to 2019 uh, supervisor production and uh, 2019 to today and my position is engineer trainees uh, I have been working working for 15 years and it has been my only work. Okay, very good, Manuel. Excellent. Okay. All right, uh, Manuel, production or production? Production. Excuse production. me. Yeah, it's okay. Production. 
Okay. And remember, anything that starts in the past until this moment, we use the word since. Since. Oh, okay. Not up to now, just or, or until now. Uh, you say since blah blah blah. Okay. And okay, um, and remember, if this is something important. Classes for everybody. You say I was born. Not I was born. I, okay. Not I born, but I was born. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Very good. And we said the next one was uh, Marvin, and after Marvin is Wendy. Okay. Um, I was born in Chalchuapa, Santa Ana. I graduated for leases. I worked in Imacasa for 15 years. Then I started work in Cotegna, El Salvador since 2015. There I entered as a traffic agent. After two years, they me they made me a maintenance operator uh, currently. Oh, uh, okay. Um, could you, can you repeat the last sentence, Marvin? Uh, they made me a system and, and, and maintenance operate, operator. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Very good, Marvin. Okay. Let's go now to Wendy. And after Wendy is, is Werner. Okay. Good evening. I was, I was born in September of 1900. And Excuse me, please wait a moment. Sorry, I repeat. Uh, I was born in September of 1900 and 89 in Santa Ana. I started study in the university in 2010. And I graduated from psychology in 26 for four years while I was studying in was an intern in the area of psychology and psychiatry in, in the San Juan de Dios Hospital. In the 2015, I started working at Blue of the Loom in the recruiting and hearing department. Then I worked for three years in the human resource department. I was promoted to Foltec as a psychology and education since, since 2020. I love my job, but especially my career. Only that. Thank you very much, Wendy. Excellent. Okay, very good. Wendy, what was the year that you were born? In 1900. This is that year. <laughs> I wondering, hey, team. Otra, otra hey. <laughs> 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 is uh, 1989. 19, I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let me help you. 19, 19. Bye, write, write, uh -huh. Bye, write it in the chat. Okay. <laughs> just write the year. Yeah, just, just write the, the numbers. Just write the numbers. Okay. So that would be 19, 1989. 1989. Yes. Yes. Okay. Miss, mm -hmm. miss, there are time travelers. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, um, good. And the other word is psychiatry. Okay, psychiatry. Yes, psychiatry. psychiatry. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, okay, excellent. Very good, Wendy. Um, now it's Warner's turn, and after Warner is um, Yvonne. Um, I Werner Reyes was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1977. I graduated from Excel College. He studied the, from uh, 1991 to 1993. He currently works in the Salvadoran Fencing Federation since 2006. He wants uh, to be a fencing coach since he was littered a light strategist a lot. I didn't have to wait long to make this dream uh, come true because I was college to offers uh, to be coach of national team from 20, 2006 to 2021. Uh, then to Led the women's and men's national team. Uh, when my student just graduate, graduated from Durham University in England, why a scholarship for fencing sport was the number one of the selection. Her name is uh, Ivania Carballo, and she studied there from uh, 20. 19th to 2020. Uh, Ivania is a successful person. She works Monday uh, through Friday and loves loved her jobs. Uh, she has been uh, passionate about fencing, signed the eyes of the tent. Uh, when she started training, uh, her family is always support. That's okay. it. All right, thank you very much, Warner. Excellent. Okay, um, Warner. Could... Yes, teacher. Oh, very good, excellent, Warner. Very, very good. Okay, um, Warner, could you please repeat, uh, sorry, um, pronounce this word for me, the one that I just wrote in the chat? Signs. Okay, Be, uh, just remember that it's since. I'm sorry, teacher. Since, it's okay, it's okay. I missed that. Okay, so it's since. 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 Mm -hmm. since. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. good. And just, I, I it was a little bit confusing, Werner, because um, you were switching from the I and the he. So when you were talking about yourself, you were, you were mentioning both he and then I. So just keep it in one. If you're gonna use it in first person, keep I. If not, keep it in he, but don't be switchy. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher, okay. All right, perfect. Okay. okay, and Yvonne is next. And after Yvonne would be Francisco. Okay. Uh... Good evening to everybody. Uh, I was born in Santa Ana in 1979. I studied at the National University until 1999. Then I started to work at Balsamar Manufacturing. That is one of the four plants of Fruit of the Loom in the country. I worked there since 1999. I started in the position of quality control auditor. I was in the area of irregulars, process, customers, and warehouse. Then I was promoted to quality clerk in 2008. I was in that position for eight years. I was in the quality control department for long. In 2016, I was promoted to my actual position in process engineering assistant. 
it was uh, very difficult at the beginning because sometimes I had to find someone to explain the task to me, even in another plan. But now I am the person with the longest time in my position in the entire company. So I learned many things in these years and I like to help my colleagues as much as I can, just as someone helped me in the past. Wonderful. That's all. Very good, excellent. Thank you very much, Yvonne. Thank okay. you. And finally, Francisco. Okay. Well, um, I was born in 1918, 90, 90, 90, uh, pardon, sorry. I was born at um, 1980 in La Union. <laughs> my first interaction with a computer uh, was for accident. Uh, since it was recorded, my passion for these kind of things is constantly growing. From 2005 to 2006, yeah, I worked at teaching basic information for students uh, of primary and secondary. It was a beautiful experience, very recent for me. Um, I've been working normally from 2007, uh, like a system administrator, and, and I don't uh, animate uh, to leave this company until 2030. 13. Since I leave this company, I work for our, our, our other companies for the sector like uh, programmer, super productive, desktop, um, and many other things. I was in Concione in the politics for a long time. At the moment, I work for a build my uh, friends and give life to an interesting project uh, for IT security, and I speak it's for a long time. It's on. You speak what? And I speak is for long for long and I and I speak is for a long time. It's for a long time. You speak? Speak. Espero. Oh you you expect. 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 Okay. Expect. Oh okay, you expect. Okay. Okay, good. All right. I thought I just I thought for a moment there that you said that you spoke Esperanto which is actually, a, it's a language, right? You know, you know Esperanto? Uh, what, what is Esperanto? Esperanto is a language. Okay. It's a language that it's, that a man made up. A liter there was one man that he created a language. Oh. Uh -huh. And it's called Esperanto. Oh, yeah. So I thought, I said, oh, wow, that's interesting. He learned that language. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, very good, Francisco. Bravo. Um, now, could you do me a favor, Francisco? Uh, could you repeat the, um, those dates? Okay. Uh, 2031, 2075, 2006. Okay. Do you remember that when we um, pronounce them separate it, and it's um, the the zeros in there we don't pronounce it as zero we pronounce it as o so it'd be 20 20 of zero 20 of five mm -hmm. 20 of six good okay. 20 of five and 20 of six good okay Thank and you. yeah you're welcome and you also mentioned this word right politics okay this one's a catch this one's a tricky one you don't say politics it's politics the stress is on the first syllable, politics. So we don't say politics, we say politics. Politics, okay. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, that's everybody. That's very good, excellent, very, very good. Um, thank you very much for sharing that. I know we took a little bit of time, but I think it was important for us to Thanks. hear each one of us, uh, each one of you. Um, to be able to help you individually, and not, not only to help you individually, but for, for you to also hear um, other people um, and, and also be able to learn from others' mistakes, right? So we all learned here. Um, we learned from our own mistakes and we learned from other people's mistakes. So I think this part was very important for us. Um, thank you very much, guys, for sharing. Okay. Um, 
we are going to move on to the next part. So that was, so this is the, the, the new conversation here. And for this conversation, I'm going to be asking you two questions. Have you applied for a job position recently? Anybody has applied for a job position recently? No. No? Nobody? No. No. No? Okay. What specific information about your work experience can you provide? So right now, what is specific information from the work experience that you have acquired in all of this time could you provide if you were looking for a job? What do you think is important? What things have you learned is your work experience that you think would be important? For example, I heard many of you mentioning that you have, um, you've had in the past or you have in this moment a managing position. Now, if you're managing position, one of the work experience that you can add is that you are able to manage people. That's, and that's a very important skill, right? To be able to manage people because it's not easy, you know, to manage people. You know, pe there are people with so many different personalities and, um, you know, different situations and it's very difficult, right? Um, so that's something that is very positive. What about you specifically? What information do you think you could talk about your work experience that you think you that would be very important if you were looking for a job? In my case, what I learned is this word uh, ambiguity, that I learned to deal with the ambiguity and change. I wasn't get, I didn't get used to it, but I learned how to deal with that and I like it I, I love it now and also uh, my last experience yes I was a manager I was a supervisor ah. but I learned that I better work for my money myself <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm okay. selfish I know but it's better to to uh, I here no como se llama ganar yeah. Here. Ah, okay. Here my money uh, with my personal goal. Aye. Gold. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, you're right. Um, in the sense that when you are working as a manager, your earnings are almost um, based on other people's. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, and they want that yeah. to make the, their job. Man. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So of course, um, it, it makes it more difficult, right? Because, yeah, you you really can't say I'm going to make this goal for myself and and I'm going to get it. You are uh, you're dependent on other people. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. What about the rest of you? What job? What um, work experience would you provide? For me, teacher, it would be teamwork, negotiation, and persuasion problem solving, leadership, uh, perseverance and motivation, and be passionate about my work. Wow, you, you awesome. really, you've really gotten it down. But not <laughs> workaholic, <laughs> right? <laughs> very good. Yeah, very good. Okay, um, the word is perseverance. 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 Okay. Very good. Yeah. Wow. That's wonderful. I, I love how you have a new, uh, you have numbered all of the, your, the skills and you really understand, you know, what you need to be able to apply for a job and, and all of those um, skills, those soft skills, we call those soft skills. Those are skills that you learn in life. Yeah, that's very good. I'm okay. sorry, would you pronounce again, you said persevering or persevering? Perseverance. 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 Okay, thank you. You're welcome. 
Okay, good. Now we're going to be now listening, uh, I'm sorry, not listening. We're gonna be reading a conversation uh, between Alan and Blanca. And I'm gonna need two volunteers. Me, Jury. Okay, Jury, uh, you wanna be Alan? Okay. Okay, who wants to be okay. Blanca? Can I be Blanca? Sure, of course, go ahead. Okay, what is your social security number? Wow, it's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, dash, um, seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July uh, 1st. Where did you work? I work at Imolsa. What did you do there? I was the evening, evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a, a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have a propension. All right, guys, thank you very much. Excellent. Okay. Um, all right, very good. Uh, yes, this is July 1st. Yes, the, the, I, the ST, it sounds, stands for first, right? Okay, so very, very good. Okay, let's talk about vocabulary here. Um, please ask me about any words that, you, that you're not sure about and you can write them in the chat. Uh, evening, evening manager. Yeah, it's just like su supervisor de noche. Or... Uh huh. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. La, del turno de noche. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so write write them in the chat. All the words that you don't understand. Only one word so far. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. Yes. Um, and I tell you this word here. A, a BBA mm -hmm. is stands for Bachelor of Business Administration. But I got confused with the word bachelor because my mind thinks in bachiller de aquí, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But yeah, you, you got to remember, it's bachelor is um, is licenciatura. university degree. It's a university degree. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, it's what we call here. It's uh, the equivalent here in Spanish, licenciatura. Ah, okay. Okay. Sure. So a BBA is what we call in El Salvador uh, licenciatura in. Um, in, in administration. Okay, let's take a look at pronunciation now. Pronunciation. Okay, All right, so far I have this word, I have this word, any others? I think diploma is the correct pronunciation. Okay, only that? Okay, 
Yes, you're right. It's diploma. 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 Así con fuerza. Diploma. Diploma. The stress is on the plo. Diploma. 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 A university diploma. Okay. The next word is chronic medical condition. Chronic. So it's not chronic. Don't pronounce it like a ch. Pronounce it like a k. Chronic. Chronic medical condition. Just like in Spanish, chronico, right? It's chronic. Cro. But it's not cro, it's cro. Chronic. Not chronic. It's chronic. Chronic medical condition. Chronic. Okay. And then this is hypertension. Hypertension. Okay. Hypertension. Teacher, and how about the serial of numbers? Is is it correct to spell them one by one or two by two or? Yes. Uh, preferably, well, um, it would be best to to say them one by one, especially when you have a serial number. It's better to do it. Uh, individually, right? So it, it, you would, it would, yeah. So this one would be three, four, five. You could say it uh, like, for example, personally, I'll, I'll tell you something. Um, you guys know that um, that I'm, I'm a medical interpreter. So when I give out these these things with um, social security numbers and things like that, actually, I'll tell I'll tell you something. This is actually definitely not a social security number because it's. Social yeah, security numbers are nine digits. So what I normally do is because they are nine digits, I normally <laughs> say them by threes. So I say three, four, five, mm -hmm. six, three, two, four, five, seven. That's how I would say it. So even though, even though you're saying it individual numbers, but if you do it like the individual numbers together, mm -hmm. like, um, in, in one, I don't know, in one breath, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a little easier, okay? Instead of saying three, four, five, six, then people get it a little confused. But if you just mm -hmm. say three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, okay. then it's easier for people to, to know what it is. I remember my mom, she lived in the United States and sometimes I told the number, telephone number like us and two numbers together and she doesn't like because they are accustomed to spelling, it, 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 say a number, one number by one and yeah. she, she doesn't like uh, like uh, us, two numbers and they say one number by number. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. It's better to do it. It is better to do it that way because, um, you know, it's um, that way you don't get people confused because, um, you know, 34 or better said, um, yeah, 34 can easily be sound, sound to someone like more like I'm saying like 54 and they get confused. So instead it's better, there's no way to, to lose it if you say three, four, right? And you say, ah, okay. So like I said, if you wanna put it in groups, it would, better, it would be better to um, say it individually and just say it um, together in like groups of three or something like that, okay? Or if you, or if you want like a, a, a smaller number, like imagine this was not a date, but a, a, like a, um, for example, an, an address. If this was the address, it would be 2005. 2005, right? So you can divide them into two parts or 2011, right? So it's a little easier to, for the mind to remember. Anything else?
No? Okay. All right, guys. So, um, what kind of education does Blanca have? BBS. BBA. A BBA. And what did we say was a BBA? Bachelor of Business Administration. Very good. A bachelor's in business administration. So MBA is a master, right? That's right. An MBA is a master. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. In the first class, we had uh, always on the, I'm um, uh, get used to click on the links for videos and the manual. In the first class, uh, there was a video explaining about that. Oh, uh, really? BA. Yes. Yes, I, I, I usually don't click on those because some of them, they do not work. But the one, the first one in the page number nine <laughs> is very interesting because oh. uh, she's explaining about the meaning of BA, MBA, BSc, uh, PhD. It was interesting. Yeah, there are a lot of, there are a lot of um, you know, mm -hmm. university titles. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, what other type of job could Blanca have in the company? So we know she's she's she has a bit uh, a bachelor in business administration, but what else could she be? Evening manager. Evening manager. Okay, she could be a manager. Okay. Anything else that she could be? Well, I know she couldn't work on sales because of her hypertension. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right that so, was good <laughs> that's fair enough okay so <laughs> what she can do in a, in a job is work in sales okay sounds good okay very good guys okay actually um well we have come to the end of her class but what i'm gonna ask you to do now is um uh hold on So what I'm going to ask you guys to do, you will notice that on the next page, there is the job application. Well, actually, we're, we're here I had the idea was working pairs, but we right know we're going to do this as homework and then we're going to do this activity tomorrow. The activity is the following. You will see that on the next page, there is an application for employment or a job application form. I would like you to complete this job application form for yourself. But, ojo con esto. You're going to do this, you're going to complete this on a separate page. Don't do it in the, in the manual. Don't like, don't do it um, directly in manual, do it on a separate page. The reason is because we're going to be using the one in the book to work with a partner. So I want you to complete this in another another um, page. You can do it in your notebook or wherever you want to put it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, teacher. So yes, teacher. All of this information in some other place. This is about you. This is your application form. Imagine that you're really going to be applying for a job. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Any questions, guys? No teacher. No. Oh teacher. Okay. All right, guys. In that case, um, we are finished. And um, today I have um, Manuel for our um, tutoring class. Manuel, would you like to stay? No teacher. Okay. All right. Um, Thanks. Okay, no problem. Uh, I know, Edgar, um, you, you were saying that maybe you would like some other day. Do you want to stay today or do you, or for another day? Um, every day. <laughs> he wants to stay every day. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that sounds great. Okay. All right. Well, if you want, you can stay today. No problem. Okay. Okay, 
All right, guys, so that will be all. Just remember to complete your homework and I will see you tomorrow. Get that then. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's do that quickly. <laughs> um, okay, just give me a second. All right. I'm here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Okay, Andres? Present teacher. Edna? Present teacher. Uh, Janet. Fabiola. Present teacher. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. Irene. Ivan. Present teacher. Uh, Johnny. Josue. France, Juan Francisco. I am here. Jerry. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Okay. Melissa. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Manuel. Present teacher. Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Warner. Present teacher. Yvonne. Present. And Francisco. Present. And Jenny. Okay. All right, guys. That will be all then. We have completed our um, our attendance. So that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow. And um, if, if you'd like, you can go ahead and stay for our tutoring class. All right. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye now. Good night. Good night. Everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, you see, good night. Good night. So. <laughs> Teacher. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, Puedo hacerle una, bueno, una consulta. Mm -hmm. Por supuesto. Uh, this is, is my, my, ¿cómo se llama? La tarea de hoy. Mm -hmm. No sé. El, sí entendí lo que usted me dijo con lo del I. Lo del ay, perdón. Ajá, ajá. ¿Es como una expresión que yo hago o es por la lectura? No. Uh, es por esto. Um, quiero ver. No sé si puedo. Vamos a ver si puedo. ¿Puedo digitar? Vamos a ver si puedo. No. Ay, sí, sí puedo digitar. Okay. Um, ok, es por esto. De que me está diciendo, I graduated from Excel College. Después me decía, he studied. Oh, ok. Entonces me estaba haciendo los dos. O sea, me estaba poniendo tanto, me estaba combinando el I con el he. Entonces, oh. le estaba diciendo, o lo mantiene en I, o lo mantiene con ti, pero no puede estar mm. combinando. Ok, hoy sí entendí, teacher. Ok. Bueno, sí. Ok, es sobre todo. Ok, mm -hmm. solamente, okay. teacher. Thank you. Okay. Y, y lo que pasa es que sí es importante porque I y he utilizan diferentes verbos. Acuérdense que o he hecho diferentes formas del verbo. Por ejemplo, si, um, bueno, en el pasado no tanto, ¿verdad? En el pasado es igual con todos los... Los, los pronombres, pero por ejemplo en el presente si sí hace una diferencia eh, si por ejemplo digo I work es diferente de he works, he works. Sí. hay una S entonces a, hace una diferencia no solamente en el pronombre sino que en el tiempo eh, o hecho en el, en el verbo que se va a utilizar es prácticamente como gramaticalmente no es correcto porque no se oye bien. Correcto. Que uno va con el verbo base y él de repente cambia un... un eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Después de repente hace ese cambio de, uh -huh. del he y el I. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Entonces tiene que mantenerse, o sea, si está hablando de una persona, manténgase hablando de esa persona, persona. Ya sea pero en primera persona o en tercera persona, pero no combine primera y tercera. Ah, ok. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
You're welcome. Thank you. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow, Werner.